Here are 18 things that you've missed in Minecraft. Let me know in the comments which ones you didn't know about and make sure to like and consider subscribing to help this video reach more people. The mansion in Minecraft is a massive build covered with cool and secret rooms. But did you know that under the main entrance staircase there is a secret ladder going down into a secret brewing room? What makes this room even better is that it has actual diamond and gold blocks. I really have no clue why people just don't talk about this more often. It literally gives you free diamonds and brewing stands from day one. So the next time you see a mansion, make sure to check behind the staircase. Everyone knows about the secret chest behind the wall in the jungle temple, as well as the one located at the back. But did you know that under the stairs of this temple lies a secret? This was something that was recently added into Minecraft and it adds a little challenge to something that was pretty boring. The loot in these can be really really good, I especially like to take the TNT and Mossy Cobble out afterwards. If you didn't know about this one, don't kick yourself, it is new content after all. Did you know that inside of the end pillars in the end, there is a 5% chance of a chest spawning with arrows? I didn't know this either, and then I tested it for myself and it worked. In version 1.16.5, there is a 5% chance a chest spawns in an end pillar. So if you're running out of arrows, make sure to check those pillars. Renaming your diamond boots to heavy diamond boots makes you so heavy that you actually leave a trail of dirt when you walk around. When you get hit by spiders, there is a 3% chance that it spawns webs now. Just when I thought spiders weren't annoying enough, they now have this really OP ability. So the next time you see a spider, be more careful. When you now kill mobs in Minecraft, you actually get their bones. This is great for when you want to make bone stew. I get a lot of people asking me how do I actually make bone stew in Minecraft, well this is how you do it. I'm amazed that everyone doesn't know this one. It's been in the game since strongholds were added and no one seems to talk about them. When you go to the stronghold room, all you need to do is just move the lava and then there's a secret entrance underneath. You don't really get that much, so it's just an ender chest, but it's pretty cool, and I don't think everyone knows about this one. So the next time you're at a stronghold, be careful, although if you're playing on the server, chances are it's already been raided, since it is basically a free ender chest. The next time you have ender pearls, throw them in an anvil and change them to chair pearls. And now, next time you throw them, you actually get to sit down on the pearl itself and get to experience how it travels. Be careful though, because you can take a lot more damage this way. If you're enjoying the video so far, consider liking and subscribing to my channel. It helps a lot more than you might think. A lot of people seem to not know that you can actually craft saddles, as well as their gold and iron variants. Here are the recipes, and you're welcome. Because for some reason, these aren't posted anywhere. They're actually really hard to find. If you place a redstone block, as well as a dispenser, and then stand on top of it, when you left click on TNT, it will actually ignite and throw. This feature was actually added in 1.14, but a lot of people don't seem to know about it. But for some reason, it's actually really satisfying as well to do. When was the last time you punched stone with your bare hand? Because you might not have noticed, it'll actually damage you now. Try it, the next time you see stone, punch it with your bare hand, and you'll take damage. But it won't kill you though, it stops at half a heart. But I believe if you play in hardcore mode, it will kill you. If you find a shipwreck and then place the sign saying subscribe to the Derpy Whale, Jeb himself will spawn behind you and give you unlimited cookies. Which makes sense, the Derpy Whale is probably one of the better YouTubers on YouTube. So of course Mojang themselves will add this into the game. If you go to a desert village and then rename a diamond called Free V-Bucks and then throw it into a well, Notch himself will spawn behind you and give you $10,000 in PayPal. This is a really cool feature and it makes a lot of sense because we all know that Notch loves Fortnite as he did create it. This one amazes me that people still don't know this after them being in the game for a very long time now and this one is 100% real. When you next go to a blacksmith in Minecraft, dig into the ceiling, you'll find a hidden chest. The reason why this really confuses me as to why a lot of people don't actually know this exists is that you actually get better loot from this one chest in the ceiling. So the next time you go into a blacksmith, make sure you dig that ceiling. In desert temples, there are four pillars for a reason. They aren't just there for structural integrity. There's actually a one in 10 chance that they'll spawn a hidden chest. 
So not only do you get the four chests at the bottom, you also can have the chance of having the one on the surface. All you need to do is just break each pillar. You can't really figure out which one it is unless you break all four. And if you do this and you don't actually find a chest, chances are you just got unlucky and you need to go to the next desert temple. There's actually a 1 in 100 chance that a dungeon will spawn with 3 chests. You have the standard 2 chests on the servers, you can actually have the chance of having a chest underneath the spawner. It's always worth checking because you never know. You might have the 1 in 100 luck. If you get too close to squids now, they'll actually blind you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you're really confused, make sure you check the date this was uploaded. I have two more videos on screen I think you'll enjoy.